One question that we get a lot is how to create a gadget. There's a lot of different ways to create a gadget uh, to use with Connect Smart or with any data source. And I want to talk about one specific way. Uh, the question came in, I already have a script that's returning my data. How do I get that down and dirty into a gadget in the creator? Now, one thing just to keep in mind is that uh, those of you who are using Connect Smart and are used to the functionality of drill down, you cannot create a drill down uh, from the creator itself. That has to be done in a script, in what we usually call an initiating script, to have the drill down parameters. We're making the assumption here that we don't care about the drill down parameters. We just have a get script that returns our data. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, open this up in the uh, editor, the ISE. And this is one that is getting uh, all the tickets. It's actually getting the number of tickets and the next ticket number uh, where the customer was the last person to respond and connect wise. So if I run this script, you'll see that it returns uh, a count of three and my next ticket number. So now the question is, how do we get this into a gadget? Uh, how do we create this in a gadget? So I'm going to, since I always document my gadgets here, uh, I have the file name. I'm simply down uh, in this bottom section down here. This is a uh, this is just like running the PowerShell uh, command line. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do my git cust respond underscore v21. And I'm going to output that to an out dash. And in this case, I'm going to do a gauge. So this will go ahead and execute now into a gauge my information. So uh, this isn't how I want it to look. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on it, hit Control C, and open up my Power Gadgets creator. So take a second. Once the creator opens, I'm going to just hit Cancel and be at a blank uh, creator screen and I'm going to hit control V to paste. Now a couple things to note. First notice that we're on page 2 of 2 so I'm going to go back and delete this first page in the series because we don't need that. Alright so now you'll see that my PowerShell script is in here at the bottom uh, uh, that it was calling so my git script is being uh, specified. Now I can go ahead and do my modifications. So I can select the type of gauge that I want. Do I want that to be a digital panel? Uh, do I want that to be a you know, horizontal gauge depending on what kind of information I'm wanting to work with? So we can go ahead and set up all of our uh, you know, determine what we want it to look like. We can go over into our advanced settings and make any other changes. A couple that are important. Uh, one would be the caption. That's going to be the title bar. So I'm going to say this is my test gauge. Uh, also a very important item is going to be the name. So if you go to edit and name, you need to make sure that all gadgets have a unique name. Uh, otherwise you're going to have some interesting things that pop up. So I'm going to say this is test one DKM just to uh, have something in there. So now we've got our name. The other thing that we can go ahead and do is we can have this automatically refresh. So since we've done this from a script, it will recall that get script every however, uh, whatever time. I'm going to go ahead and put this to about five minutes. Uh, you want to be careful on how often that you're refreshing data, especially with ConnectWise, you could overload the system. So we're going to go ahead and hit save. I'm going to just save this into, uh, save this to my desktop as a test. So if I close all this stuff down, let's go look at my desktop. We should have in here my test gadget. And as you can see, we have created a brand new gadget.